Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Andrea and I am a fashion reseller. Um, I say fashion reseller, I guess, lightly now since I do sell other things. Um, and basically, I love teaching you how to sell other people's junk and make money. So today I have a haul video for you guys. It's actually going to be a haul broken down into three parts and this is why. So if you saw my last video, which I know didn't get that many views, but please if you're interested in learning about pop-up consignment, please check that out because the information that me and Jen shared with you is pretty common and it's how most of the pop-up sales, at least around here, that's how they do it. Um, so anyway, I sold in that sale um, and I actually spent money too. We all know that's bad, but anyway, um, I did almost make $1,200. It was $1,100. $87 I believe or $97 that I made um, but the sale just ended and I haven't yet got my check but that's what the little progress thing says that I made um, I am breaking this haul into three parts and I'm gonna tell you why <laughs> so the first part of the haul is stuff that I paid full price for um, and that is the stuff that I thought was worth paying full price um, the second part of the haul is going to be the stuff that I paid half price for. And then they actually do a double half off sale, but I did not go to that. I had been there every day at that point, and I also helped work the sale. Um, I brought in refill items on refill day because, you know, this girl's got lots of stuff around her house, right? And some of it, I had to be honest with myself, even if it was my reseller stuff, it was time for it to go. Um, so I had been there every day, so I did not go to the double half off sale, which is something that they only do for the consigners. Um, and then they do a 50 cent sale at the end, which I did get to shop because I had to already go there and pick up my stuff that did not sell. So, I broke this haul into three parts, um, and I left the little tickets with them, or I tried to. Some of the items were missing their tickets, and so I don't exactly have the exact price that I paid for, but I think I can remember. Um, I did take out all of our personal items. Um, I did spend $300 at this sale, um, Probably like $140 of it or so is actually stuff for Lily. Um, and I have taken most of her items out because she wanted to wear them. She had hardly any clothes to fit. So I washed them and took them out. And there's a few items that didn't work out so for her. So they're going to be sold. Anyway, so I am going to start with the items that I paid full price for, and I was super surprised to see some of these items um, in this sale. If you don't know, you'll know eventually, I live in the Midwest, in the middle of nowhere. Um, we live like an hour from a mall, like each direction, an hour, 15 minutes or so. So basically these pop-up sales perform really well here because local people don't want to make that drive and with COVID and just certain things going on in the world I think that's why this sale was a huge success this year um I heard several other consigners saying that so um I'm gonna go ahead and start with the items that I paid full price for um and if you don't notice this shirt is like super awesome it's a reverse weave champion shirt um it's actually like from my dad's and it has been he's had it this long so I took some of these shirts from his house because he's like wow they're cool again and I'm like you know so if you notice 
This is a reverse weave. Um, it's probably from the 80s or 90s champion t-shirt and I love it. Okay, and the reason that I said that this is a reverse weave t-shirt is because I am adding this to the haul even though Lily has decided to keep it. It is a jacket. Um, I think we paid... I want to say eight dollars for it um because i have an athletic hooded jacket um anyway my little side thing with my shirt but this is pure coincidence the reason that i told you about my shirt is because if you saw my Instagram stories, I'll, I'll do another haul later. I recently found a really cool reverse weave hoodie um, with strawberries and stuff on it. Um, but it was a remake from Urban Outfitters. I believe this one is too, but Lily is keeping it. It's also an extra, extra small, so I don't know how it would have done. But it's a black and white polka dotted reverse weave champion hoodie and I paid full price for it um and I really want to sell it but like I said it's an extra small and it really fits like an extra extra small because Lily wears a 12 and it fits her um and she loves it so maybe after she's done with it it will end up in my my selling stuff but for now she's keeping it um and it was in pretty good condition um but she unfortunately did get some ice cream on it so i'll have to get that out but i was super excited to even find this there um i was not expecting to find anything like that and especially considering this is the second reverse weave hoodie that i have found this week um but like i said this one unfortunately for now is lily's okay so this top, I also was surprised. It's like a little peplum top and it is Kate Spade. Um, it is Kate Spade Saturday, which is like the lower end line. Um, this one did not have the tag on it when I got home. I believe I paid $4 for it. And it's just a navy top. This is new with tags, and I think it's just from H&M, but I do really well with these type of band tees. Um, this is just an ACDC um, rock and roll graphic tee, and it's new with tags. It's not anything too fancy or rare. This is kind of the same thing. This is a Rolling Stones graphic tee. Um, and it is recycled cotton. Um, this is one of the remakes. It is, it was two bucks, guys. Two bucks. So, that was a good find. This I debated on whether or not to get. But, for some reason, Lucky Brand started selling for me again recently. Just their tops. Um, and it's not much. They're selling for like 15 to $18. But some of the stuff that I've, I had listed for probably a long time recently sold. Um, this has like a cool, like unique print on it. And it's like a deep V. It is a lucky brand, like Aztec, like kind of, well, I guess it's more like an African printed, um, boho top black and white um it was two dollars so i went ahead and picked this up i just really like the style and i love that it has like these dolman sleeves kind of wing sleeves so i'm not sure how that will do but it's a cute shirt this was a 
um, Kalia jacket. I only paid $5 for this. It does have a really bent zipper, which I am going to fix with my rubber mallet hammer. The things you do in reselling, right? Got a hammer, a bent zipper. It's just bent though, it still works. Um, this is a Kalia by Carrie Underwood jacket. Um, if you don't know what Kalia is, it looks they always have like these waterproof tags, which I know Victoria's Secret has these too, but I hate them. They're like this jelly sticky tag, but that's the logo. Um, it kind of looks like the Poshmark logo actually, but this was $5. So I picked that up. I will have to hammer out the zipper, but I think that was a good find. This is a... Vanessa Virginia if you're not familiar with the tag that's what it looks like Vanessa Virginia is an anthropology piece um I did look this over very well because if you watched my first video you will know we actually have to hang our own items and because of this a lot of people go to places like dry cleaners mission stores whatnot and get hangers um I get some sometimes for my husband's work because his work shirts come back on metal hangers. Anyway, this was on a metal hanger and it's like this sheer fabric with these see-through eyelets. So I had to look it over very good and also be careful not to snag anything else. I always take the hangers off because I'm like, oh my gosh, this, this metal hanger is going to rip a hole in something. So I have a love-hate relationship for metal hangers. Like, I love the fact that I get them for free to use for the sale, but I don't like it when they normally bag your items and they leave the hangers on. And if you don't take off all the metal ones, they're going to rip a hole in something. This next thing I kind of debated on whether to pick up, but Victoria's Secret has been selling for me and it was such a low price. There was tons of Victoria's Secret items there. But the price played a factor and the item's newness played a factor to me. Like, if it was something that was made a while ago, I'm definitely not going to pick it up. But this is um, just a pink sequin graphic ringer tee. Um, this was only $2.50. So that is why this got picked up because for $2.50, I definitely saw a profit in that. This, I was super, su super surprised to find this item there again. Um, I have found free people stuff there before in anthropology, but it's just been a handful of items. Um, and sometimes the items aren't in the best shape, but this is an older free people tag, but this shirt is actually sought after. Um, it's the mirrored floral, I believe it's called. Anyway, it has little mirrors in the embroidered flowers. So that's why this shirt is sought after. Um, if I find the exact name, I'll pop it down below because I honestly do not remember. But this was just labeled as a bohemian purple top at $3. So someone, this is um, a tag that is one of the ones that they help people tag. So someone didn't know what this was probably, but I don't know, I got it for $3. Um, this is another anthropology top, and this one was actually marked anthropology. Um, and I paid $5 for this. It's just a striped top, and it has like some blue, um, I don't know what you call this like some blue added fabric on the bottom and on the sleeves. It's kind of like a tinsel or almost, but I paid $5 for that, which I probably should have waited till this was half off. There was another anthropology top with this top right next to each other, but it unfortunately had a huge bleach stain on it. Um, they're pretty good with quality control, but after Sometimes people still get some items in there that are damaged. This is just a Guns N' Roses 
graphic tee. I love band tees. I'm a sucker for band and graphic tees because I wear them all the time. Um, but this shirt was $5 and it was also new. This is another Kalia top. Um, and it's kind of like a weird, like purpley blue. I believe I have this top currently listed. And I also have the long sleeve with the same pattern listed in my closet. Um, I paid $3 for this. My husband actually found this, which I was surprised for one that he was in the bra section and for two that he even noticed that it was a Urban Outfitters bra, but this is just a little Urban Outfitters bra. Um, it's actually out from under. I think it's an extra small. Yeah, it's a small. It's just this little siege cream bra. It was $3. I found another bra. Um, this is Zaya Active. And I recently found a graphic tank um, that I was surprised to find in my area. But then I also, I'm super stoked to find this because it should do well. It's animal print. Um, it was only $3. Sorry, I don't know why I keep holding up the tag, but you guys probably can't even read it from here. This my husband also found. It is a Victoria's Secret pink with neon accents and it's got like all this stuff on the back, which I think is cool. There's like smiley faces and all this other stuff. Um, it was $4. I've actually found a lot of Altered State at this sale. So someone that sells, sells here must wear it a lot but this is altered state which they do um cheaper looks of anthropology it's a little bit cheaper but it's still kind of expensive i guess but everything in there is like bohemian um this just says be good to yourself it's a little tank it was three dollars now people have commented before like why do i continue to pick up this brand it continuously sells for me even though it is a boutique brand. Um, I actually can buy it direct because I use my business license and signed up on their website, but I've never ordered anything. Um, it's Umji. Um, Umji USA. It's just this floral deep V romper. And it looks like it has never even been worn. And it's like this chartreuse color I guess would be the right way to describe it it's like a yellow green it's very bright this is another altered state tea it's very soft um it is from their intimates line and they're getting kind of more like free people come like trying to copy them but this is Altered States Intimates, but you can wear it as a regular shirt. It's very, very soft. And it's got a fun saying on it, so why not? It says, I only love my bed and my dog. Might be true of me some days. Um, these are Victoria's Secret leggings. I paid four bucks for these. They're like a neon peach color. Um, and they are a newer style and they have like the foam pockets and stuff. These usually do well for me if they have that big like foam pocket on the side. This. I paid up for. Um, I actually had to look it up because I've never seen this before and this label. Um, it is Sailor and Free People Club. 
Um, I've never heard of Sailor. And then I saw the FP on there in cursive and I was like, is that some sort of free people item? So I paid $8 for this and I think I'll get like 60 to 70, maybe even higher for this dress. I looked it up. It seems to be sought after, but I don't remember the name. Sorry. My husband actually had to look it up on his phone because we had like, no signal there it is in the middle of the country um but if you look at the tag this free people looked very similar to the stuff that they put on free people intimate so i was like this has to be free people but this is a mini dress even though it was marked out as a shirt i paid eight dollars for it but it, was, it wasn't marked as free people. It was marked as a beige long top. But it's actually a mini dress. And I checked it over very well. And I don't see any flaws. Um, this item was one of the items that I, again, was excited for. Um, I was excited for this. Especially when I looked up seeing that it will sell for like $60 to $80 or whatever. That is a good find. This jacket, I went back and forth on picking it up, but it was only $5. It is a Victoria's Secret jacket. Um, it does need soaked. It has like sequins down the arm is why I was questioning it because I don't really like sequins on clothes, let alone an athletic um hoodie but it's got the plush lining on the inside I don't know I might end up keeping this for myself because I wear a lot of Victoria's Secret stuff but it is a jacket I actually got a raincoat there a couple years ago and I still have it but the white is a little dingy so I will have to wash this but it was five dollars This is another Victoria's Secret item. Um, I really like teal. In case, in case you didn't know, teal is my favorite color. Um, this hoodie just says Victoria's Secret and teal um, down the arm. It is from the Angel Collection, so it's on the Victoria's Secret side, not the pink side, which that stuff does a little less better, I guess. A little less better. I don't know. Apparently, I can't talk. This stuff doesn't do as good as the pink logo stuff, but I did go ahead and get it because it was $5, and it is in very good condition. I think there's even some wings on one of the... Yeah, right here. So, I'll have to see how that does, but sometimes the Victoria's Secret stuff does better on Facebook. And so that one might end up being a Facebook sale, and I'm okay with that. So this, these two items, I think someone was trying to hide them. But I had worked a four-hour shift. Um, I work usually like 9 to 12 hours um, because you get more money of your consignment earnings if you help. After one of my shifts, me and Lily were kind of poking around. This year I didn't get very good shifts because I was procrastinating. And then when I went and signed in, I realized all the work shifts were taken that were good. Anyway, I think someone was trying to hide these shirts because they were together. And they were kind of tucked in the rack. Kind of weird. And there, unfortunately, has been people that try to do that for half price day. But this girl still found it. Um, it's going through the racks, and I just, like, felt this. And I was like, oh, that feels, like, so soft. Well, it is Lululemon. And I paid, I think, four bucks, four dollars for it. So... This was kind of tucked in the wrong area, and um, I found it right after I got off working, and Lily was actually looking through stuff. Um, so, 
I found this. And it could have happened because this was after restock, so someone could have restocked this as well. But $4 for a Lululemon, I will take that all day. I mean, I'll take Ben's prices better, but $4 is not very much. And then this, I don't know if I should have got it or not. Like, it's in very good shape. But it is an extra, extra small athleta. So my daughter can almost wear it, but it is a little bit too long. It was tucked in with the Lululemon um, item, and it was also $4. Now that is all of the items that I paid full price for that I'm going to be reselling the other stuff, like I said, was Lily's that I purchased. Um, I purchased all this plus Lily's stuff for $140. Um, so, and oh, I added these two $4 items there later on after my worker shift and those were $8. So like less than that, but you guys can do the math because I gave you what I paid per item. And now I am going to flow into what I paid um, half price for. So I, we actually, I think, got these during regular night. Um, my daughter, if you don't know, she is like the biggest Harry Potter fan of all time. We did snag quite a few Harry Potter shirts for her. And some of them don't even fit her, but she's like, I will wear them as pajamas, mom. And I'm like, okay. But the Tales of Beetle the Beard was in there. I think we paid like a dollar for this. It's also a hardback, which is awesome. Um, She got this dog book. This one's in pretty bad shape, but... She got all the wrong questions. What did you see? When did you see her last? And it's one of those choose crime books where you can choose like your own ending. She really likes those. And then she got all of these hardback Lemony Snicket's books. Um, and another Lemony Snicket's um, all the wrong questions. Um books where you figure out like you make your own ending but these two are the regular lemony snicket series so that's pretty cool okay guys so i'm gonna get into the second part of this video and i'm sorry once again rocco had to be rocco he knows that this is his couch and apparently he jumped up here so there he is me and him being himself over here um I am going to show you the second group of items which these items besides a couple um, are half off items the very first item is a pair of vans um, I paid half of $25 so $12.50 for vans which is cheaper than Goodwill usually prices them um, and these do go for a little higher because they are the, like, I love my Vans Vans. Um, these are in, like, excellent condition. As you can see, they're still, like, pretty much white. I'll take a magic eraser to them a little bit, but they are in good shape. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. My dog needs his hair cut. The groomer was on vacation and then um, she canceled our one appointment. So we'll have to have to bring him back soon. Um, these were not on half price. These are actually for Lily. They were $8. They are a pair of Converse's. Um, they are a size think four probably but Converse's run really big and most of the time there's like men's sizes as the size instead of the girl's size so these are probably like a woman's five because I put them up to our fours and they're not like a a kid's four so um 
she will grow into these but they're like this metallic pink color and they're in like excellent shape so these are going to be lilies but as you can see these are a let me see them These are a five and a five and a half five and a half men seven women's these bands and they are like the same size so these might be getting resold because they definitely don't fit yet but she'll probably want to hold on to them because they'll fit in about a year but they're metallic pink converse um, this is, I, I honestly thought this was going to be a free people bra just because of the way it looks. Um, it's actually Victoria's Secret. Um, it is just a size small, very bohemian print. Um, this would have been half of $3, so $1.50. If you can see kind of like the bohemian print. So $1.50 for that. I'll probably get like 15 bucks for it. This is a Victoria's Secret pink tank. And it's got like a tie front. Um, this says $4. So I paid $2 for it. It is a little weird in the front because someone had tied this knot in it. So I'm going to have to like wash it and hopefully it like washes out. But I paid $2 for that. These are a pair of, um, they said, they say Athleta on them, but they're Fabletics. So Fabletics leggings, I've sold these before. Um, these weird printed ones do really well on Facebook for like $15. Um, I paid $1.50 for these. Okay, guys, this is like the exciting part of the haul. So the other ones actually say it. I don't believe that these actually have a, someone like cut it out. And I don't see where it says it on the inside. It's got two cutout tags. I think this is the newer tag, but I'm not sure because they don't say like, anywhere in the band but they were they belong to the same consigner and i saw the other ones first so these were five dollars um these are spanx leggings um and i don't know how you prove it if the thing has been cut out but i can see i had a red tag cut out but the other ones actually say Spanx on the inside. This one, I can tell had the um, rip tags and they have been cut out. But I don't know if Spanx has a logo that they put on stuff. I've never found Spanx before. I usually find that Spanx um, assets by Spanx, which is the lower end brand, and I still pick that stuff up. But I've never found like Spanx Spanx without buying it from another reseller. Never found it out in the wild or like hunting through consignment shops or anything like that. So this is the first time for that, which these are so cute. They have like a indented stripe like down the side of it, um, which I think is kind of cool. Like if you can see that it's all the way up the leg. Um, but like I said, these say Spanx on the tag, but there's nothing, there's no labels for Spanx on the inside. Now these other ones are from the same consigner. Um, Cause our consigner number is like on the top. Like right there. Anyway, they have the same number on them, but these are actually labeled. Um, as Spanx and these are like a navy blue player and geez I can't talk Th those first ones are gray then these are a navy blue pair 
And they also have the indent um, down the leg with like the, the indent stripes. Um, but this one actually says Spanx in it and the other one does not. But considering that they're the same person and the leggings are like the same style, I believe that they're definitely Spanx. I just, I don't know what to include in the photo. I'll just include measurements and the other um, stuff that it says on the inside a tag for the other one because they're the same style. Um, these I kind of were reluctant to get because they do not do well for me, but they were half off five fifty, so that makes um two dollars and seventy five cents. Um, they are Rock Revival capris, or like they're kind of in between a capri and a Bermuda short, I guess. But. They are in good shape, but they are a small size. They're size 26. They're called the Amy. And actually, these might... Well, the stitching looks good, though. I was going to say these might be, like, hemmed. Maybe that's why the length. But anyway, they're called the Amy. And they're just like a... cropped pant um and they're a rock revival so I kind of reasoned with myself on that one because 275 you know I still think that there is some following there and these might be another thing that does better on Facebook marketplace just because Miss Me Jeans and stuff like that still do really well for me on there and I think everywhere else, Miss Me Jeans are kind of out of style. Unless you're like at Goodwill, then they have them priced for $29.99. My husband was super surprised that I picked these up. But I know that this style has a following. Um, and he's like, really? You're going to get that? So these were half off. So they were $5. Someone actually had $10 on this. Rocco just jumped off the couch and I had to start over. <laughs> so, um, the, my husband was surprised that I got these pants. Uh, I know that they're a sought after style or I wouldn't have picked them up. Um, the original price was $10. Again, this was part of the half off. So I paid $5. They are J Crew toothpick ankle pants. And they have this and they have the pinstripe. Um, I know like last year these did very well, this type of style, especially with like the beach look. And let me see when, I think these are a newer, let me see if someone left the little, little tiny tag that says what year oh these were the style is 09319 so just some j crew and when i saw them i thought that they were made well ones but they're actually j crew but you know it's all the same company but i got those for five dollars brand I have never picked up before at all um I have seen people like Becky Park pick this brand up and it seems to do well um it was two dollars with the half off so that makes this um it's Saccone which I know they do like running shoes um that do well I think they do like biking like trail biking um but this is a Saccone um, whoa, this is like really bright on camera. Um, and it's got neon yellow, like stitching and a pocket. And I just went ahead and picked it up because it was $2 and I've heard other people paying like four or $5 for it. So I'm assuming that I can sell this and make more than $2. These also have the thumb holes. 
Thumb holes on hoodies are like so important. Thumb holes on pockets are really important to me if you don't know already. So this item I cannot believe was at this sale. These are a pair of Lululemon workout pants. Um, they were originally $8 and I got half off. So I got these for four bucks and they were actually inside out, which I think was part of the problem why they didn't sell because people thought like there was something wrong with the seams, but they were inside out was the problem. So like this kind of sweater leggings, they look really funny inside out. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the seams just like are real thick and stuff. And I bet that's why they didn't sell at $8. Um, because Lululemon is quite popular with college kids and there is a college in the neighboring town um, where this sale is at. So I'm almost positive someone would have bought these if they were like the correct way. <laughs> So, these are Lululemon leggings. They're the sweater striped ones. Um, they are just so cool. So, I paid four bucks for these. I was very excited for that item. I mean, Lululemon, again, for $4, because that's the second Lululemon piece that I found at this sale. Um, this is a Victoria's Secret pink jacket, extra small. It was originally $10 and someone, I bought it when it was half, so it'd be $5. Um, Lily actually wanted this for herself and the sleeves were too big. Um, she's starting to get the age where she probably will be wearing Victoria's Secret and American Eagle and that type of thing. Um, it's an extra small, so it might be kind of hard to sell, but at $5, that was a good deal because our Goodwill now prices these items like $10.99 or $12.99, so at least the Goodwill in the next town over, I should say, because I don't even have a Goodwill in my town. Okay, this item, I was kind of bummed when I got home and realized that I bought this, and it's not because of what the item was. It's because I realized this tag, there, you can actually mark your items to um, not be half off and just be like regular price the whole time. Anyway, this was marked to not be half off and it was $10. So unfortunately, this this is an HD in Paris, which is um, anthropology. If you're not aware with the tag, I'll kind of show you here in a minute. It came unbuttoned. This is what the tag looks like. And sorry, I think I'm getting a package delivered. <laughs> I'll have to look up later. Um, so this actually I paid $10 for. And normally I sell this type of thing for $15 to $20. So that was an accident on my part um, because... Almost everyone does half off. There's just a few people or a few pieces that are not half off. Um, so I paid 10 bucks for that. So that was like a fail. Um, this actually I picked up to resell, but Lily is actually going to keep it. It's a crew cut um, lemonade shirt. Um, so she's going to actually keep this um, and I'm not going to sell it. Maybe when she's done with it. These also are for Lily. I tried to take most of her items out, but I left some of the cool stuff in. These were not half off. Um, they're like brand new pair of Vans. My daughter loves Vans. I cannot wear them because of my feet. But these are the Rainbow Check um, Vans. Um, they are size four and they were 10 bucks. They're hardly worn. That is awesome for her. This I put back and then I went ahead and got it because it was $1.50. I don't know, some of you will probably say, why did you go ahead and get it? But this is a Lucy top. It's like a cropped, like mixed media, like color blocked. And this is like mesh, this teal is. And then the dark blue, the navy is like a sweater material. 
So it's like this running crop. And Lucy doesn't do as well for me as it used to. I don't know about you guys. I used to be able to sell their pieces pretty well. But it was only $1.50. So I was like, well, we'll give it a try. This next thing, there was some teenagers in the brawl section on half off night. And I couldn't like get past them to even like look in certain sections. So when we came back to the brawls, there was hardly any left. But this one was two dollars. Um, it's a Victoria's Secret triangle printed. Um, it's very eighties <laughs> um, colors bra. It is a smaller size. It's a thirty four A. But I don't have very many smaller size bras, so that will do good. Um, this was a dollar. It's a Victoria's Secret make. Well, it says makeup bag, but I actually think it's the USA Swim bag. Um, it has a plastic liner in it. Um, I believe this is the U part of the USA Swim bag. It came with two bags in the set. Um, but it's like to put your bathing suit in so it doesn't get other things wet. Um, I actually have another one of these bag, these swim bags with the liners um, currently in my closet. But they're really awesome to have. And you can use them for makeup bags too. But like usually their makeup bags are lined with this lining. So the front pocket is lined with that. And the other is lined with the waterproof lining. Then I got this Harley Davidson shirt for a $1.50. Um... I used to work for Harley Davidson. If you guys didn't know this, I worked for Harley Davidson for like five and a half years. Um, I was a title clerk for them. Um, and I worked as a finance assistant. So um, that was my first like real, real job. Um, that wasn't just me working on a small job. So I worked there for like five and a half years. Um, this is a pretty typical Harley shirt. Um, I do have something though that I, I will say that's been driving me nuts. So I have been seeing a lot of YouTubers say like, let me see if I can find it. No, nope, this shirt is black label, so we'll not have it. If it's black label, that means that um, it's a limited edition shirt and it came from the USA um, sector. So this one is, which means that they were limited edition. Um, that means that each dealer only got one of every size. Usually, sometimes there would be like two mediums. But I have seen, I'll have to find a shirt um, one day so I can explain this better. I've seen a lot of people say, that where it says the copyright and it says 1988 that means it's vintage actually for harley davidson that is not true um and i'll explain why so if you find a harley davidson tee yes a lot of times that can indicate it as vintage but if you see that and you don't see the single stitch then it is probably not vintage and it is a remake. Harley Davidson leaves the same copyright on the image down here at the bottom where it would say like copyright whatever. That's actually the year that that logo was drawn up and copywritten. So like let's say that you have like the Looney Tunes shirt and it says copyright blah blah blah. That, and you can see those in stores today, like, and it'll say 1988, and you're like, this is on the shelf now. That is because those are reprints, and that is the year the image was copywritten. So do pay attention to that. Um, I have several shirts um, from when I worked from Harley-Davidson, like ones that I've kept over the years that may say that and I know I have one that says like 19 
98 or 99 or something like that and it wasn't purchased in 1999 it is a remake and I bought it while I worked for Harley Davidson and I started I worked there from um like 2000 and 11 no 10 2010 to 2015 I think or 16 2015 so yeah um just a little pet peeve of mine if you're a vintage seller please pay attention to that also usually the interior tag will say a different date if it is a redone image um which I don't have an example I'll have to dig one up and do a video about that so this last item that I got for half price, we actually got it for Lily and it's just too big. Um, it's a Levi's jean jacket. It was, well, it's actually a vest. Levi's jean vest. Um, it was $2. And it's just this little vest with the whitewash. And that is all for the half price night that I bought. And then the third part of this video will be the 50 cent items that I got. Okay guys, so I, this is part three. And yes, I'm wearing different clothes um, and I have my glasses on. I'm trying to do better. Um, I just got glasses at 31, never had glasses before. Um, but I have extreme light sensitivity, which I don't know if it's, I've always had it, but using my ring light and stuff has obviously made it worse. So these glasses actually have a tint in them to protect my eyes because I was diagnosed with extreme sensitivity. So if you wonder why my glasses may look like grayish or transitioned like halfway or something, that is why. Um, but I am going to do now the third part, which is what I got in the 50 cent sale. There is one item, um, in here that was in my washer that was part of the half price sale. Um, but everything else in here is 50 cents and some of it is actually stuff that Lily picked up that we are going to sell. Um, it's not something that I'm probably going to be posting online. It's some lower end stuff. So um, this was from the half price sale and it was in the washer because it had gotten like ran over by a cart, but it's just a Victoria's Secret pink, um, graphic long sleeve. Um, it is a medium. I got this for $2, I believe, or $2 and 50 cents. I think it was either four or $5. Um, this is something we picked up for a lily. I believe we got this at the half price sale, but it ended up back in the bag. It's just an old navy, um, cold shoulder, extra small long sleeve. So that will be selling probably on Facebook. The same thing with these. These are a pair of Aeropostle little shorts. She has some justice shorts almost exactly like this. So I picked them up for 50 cents, but they do not fit her. Um, this entire bag, by the way, minus a few things that Lily has already taken out because they were hers, was only 20 bucks. I did give them a little bit of additional money, I think like four bucks, because it all um, goes to a donation. Um, this year, I believe, they usually do it for missions money, but this year, I believe that it was going to Ukraine. So I um, just gave them the extra money. These are a pair of Fabletics leggings. They are a little bit faded. I'm actually going to try, if you watch Denali, um, El Ducho Thrift, she has actually been using, it used to be called Black Magic, and I used to use it on my laundry all the time, but now it is called um, Pure Wall. Um, anyway, that is, I bought some. And I'm going to use that on these and see how they come out. I actually have some older Lululemon leggings as well. And I bought these just for an experiment. But they were only $0.50. Cents and they do have like a really cool print on them. 
And Fabletics does really, really well on Facebook Marketplace. I think it's all those ads, you know, that's got Kevin Hart in it or whatever. But they do super well on Facebook Marketplace. So 50 cents for those. These we got for Lily, and they're actually too big, but only paying 50 cents for them. The Hulularo leggings, I know, I know, but stay with me because they are Toy Story. So, like, there's a little alien. This one actually says, like, sunny side, like that daycare that was, like, horrible, but... Yeah, so these were a part of that. Oh, and also in the meantime, while I'm thinking of it, I said something about the glasses, but I literally cut off all my hair. So I did cut my hair. Um, I forgot to say that. So I actually look quite different today than what I did yesterday when I was filming these last videos, or the first part of the video. Um, so I got these this I was really surprised to see at the kids sale because we actually don't have a Bowden near us at all but this is a mini Bowden um, like little skirt and it has such a fun print on the inside um, but it's in really good shape it would be really cute for like a little Raggedy Ann costume or something for Halloween. But, um, yeah, Minnie Bowden. I have sold Minnie Bowden, I believe, once before. Um, and I'm going to try to sell this, even though it's a kid's item. I normally don't sell kids. Um, it is a size 10 youth, which my daughter is kind of in between a 10 and a 12. I don't know if she'll try to wear it one time or not. This dress isn't worth anything. It's just a dress from Kohl's. It did not fit my daughter, so it's in here because we paid 50 cents for it and it did fit. So I'm gonna try to sell it probably to the local consignment shop. This shirt is the same. It's just a cute um, wound up graphic tee. It's a size small. Um, she didn't end up liking that one, so. And this, I don't know what I was thinking, guys. Probably because everything is 50 cents. I did put some stuff back, but this is a Maurice's uh, shirt. And there was some items that I was going to buy for 50 cents and immediately take up to Play-Doh's closet slash close my tour and see how much I would make. Um, this actually was manufactured recently and it has the current tag. Their old tag is teal. Their newer tag is white. Um, ours will no longer take any of the teal stuff, but I was like, I will try it. I will try to get this and see if they will buy it. I think it was a recent tag when I looked. So we'll try this. There's also a Target tank top I had in here, but I think I ended up putting it back. Okay, this dress, I was shocked, ended up being in there because the original price is $10 and this person actually donated all their stuff and told them it doesn't originally have the black dot on it. Um, this is a Michael Kors dress. It's a size two. It's got all this zipper detail and a zipper back with the MK. It is Michael by Michael Kors, the lower end, but... I um, can still sell, like, um, Michael Kors if it's, like, the black pieces especially. So, this is just, like, a cocktail dress. And it's got, like, lots of exposed zippers and stuff on it. That Y2K grunge look is kind of coming back. So, I believe that this would be great for that. Um, these are just a American Eagle. I think it's a skirt, but let me make sure. It might be a skirt. This is just an American Eagle tie-dye skirt. I still sell American Eagle, mostly the jeans, but um, sometimes I put items like this in a lot. And for 50 cents and this being a newer item, I knew that I could sell it at Play-Doh's. So I went ahead and picked it up. 
this one, I might have been stretching it a little bit because I don't know. I might wear it myself. It's just a Nike golf tee, but it was like, it's like super, super soft. Like I've never felt a Nike shirt like this soft. It's got the cooling, like dry. Oh, there's like an icon somewhere. But anyway, I've never felt one that was this soft, but it's just a Nike golf shirt. I might go ahead and list it. I don't know. It was 50 cents, guys. Sometimes I lose my judgment. <laughs> um, this is a Nolly, which if you're not familiar with Nolly, it is kind of like a higher end, like surf, bohemian, kind of like Quicksilver, um, but it's a little bit more expensive. I actually sold a uh, tie-dye piece from them for quite a bit of money and I was surprised but someone said that they were searching for it um this is just like a tie-dye fringe skirt um I liked the style more or less and festival season I thought that this would sell now mind you this isn't something I would normally pick up but again, I wanted to donate to the cause and I figured that 50 cents is 50 cents with that low cost of goods. Um, I recently bought a whole bunch of bathing suit tops. Um, on my birthday, I went to a closeout sale at Clothes Mentor and they pretty much only had bathing suits. So I got these to kind of go with them and they are very small, but these are a pair of Victoria's Secret um, bathing suit bottoms. I don't know if it lost the top at the sale or if they were just selling these, but you can see there's like a little P on the bottom, but they don't even seem like they're used. They are very tiny. Like these actually might fit my daughter um, if it wasn't for like the cut of them and that they have like this fringy open side um but for 50 cents I picked those up and hopefully someone will pair this with like a black top but they were 50 cents um this is I've never picked this brand up um the only reason I did is kind of again the y2k like fashion is coming back this is a bb bra it is a good size, but it says BB or baby. I know people say it both ways, um, but it's like branded on the sleeves. And I thought that because of the Y2K fashion, they have been wearing like all the big branded stuff. So I thought someone might want this to wear like with a tube top and then have the strings with the labels out. Um, but I don't know. That was just my thought process behind getting this. I know. Kill me in the comments. I know. Um, This is a Selena Sky. And I know this is just a boutique brand. But this boutique brand does well for me. My friend started giving it to me to sell for her. And I was selling it on lots of stuff. And then I realized that the pieces were selling on their own. So I always pick it up. This is a small um floral top and this is something as well that play-dohs and close mentor will always buy so this is just a selena sky size small little boho peasant top nothing really that special this is a matilda jane blue like hold on let me see if i can do this correctly blue like it's got like these flutter sleeves there you can see the flutter sleeve okay so this is just a matilda jane top um matilda jane like the really floral prints do well this is kind of a plainer per se piece um it is a size large though so i went ahead and picked this up and this is the label if you do not know matilda jane they make little girls like ruffled floral printed clothing and then they started making women's clothing so they could match um and then I think now they just they make both um so Ms. Hilda Jane is actually manufactured um one of their biggest plants is in Indiana so um yeah you see it a lot here 
And the reason that I know this is my mom actually used to work at a department store and one of her coworkers actually designs the Matilda Jane girls tall socks. Um, believe it or not, she uh, makes the crazy prints for the tall socks, like with all the different colors and like the patchwork designs. She does that. So, um, yeah, that's how I know Matilda Jane is manufactured here. One of their plants is uh, near like Fort Wayne, Indiana. So that is something commonly found. Oh, and I got this Zumba fitness game um, because... Again, it was 50 cents. Um, I always pick up video games if they're like really cheap because I lot them up and put them on eBay. So that might not be a sought after game. It might be, I have no idea, but I paid 50 cents for it. This is another um, Victoria's Secret bottom. This is actually from the same consigner. Um, it's the scrunch butt one. Um, it is newer. I am hoping that I can find something in that uh, lot of Victoria's Secret tops that I bought where I can put that together or people will buy it together. I don't know. I might just list it separately. That might have been a dumb buy as well. This little top my daughter um, picked out, but I knew kind of right away one fitter, but I just let her get it. It's See You Monday, which is sold at like TJ Maxx. It's just this little top. It is a size small. It's like pulled shoulder. It's really cute. Um, I don't know how it will do, but again, I'm sure that I could take this to a resell shop right away and that they would buy that. Okay, now this is where the bag may get dark. I bought some things to try that new soap on. Well, it's not like really soap. You put it in like fabric uh, softener. So anyway, um, this is for my husband. Um, he wears this type of thing to like work. Um, he works at a Chrysler dealership. So, but he's in the service part. So he doesn't have to dress real nice, but kind of nice anyway. This is a black polo. It's a little faded. I'm hoping that the stuff will make it brighten up. Here is another one in like black and gray. We're going to try that soap on. This is an American Eagle tank top. Um, Again, it was only 50 cents. I plan on lotting this with some other American Eagle stuff that I have. It's a size medium, which is the same size as some of the other stuff. And I really like lotting those together, like three or four of them for like 30 bucks or like three tops for 25 bucks because it, it makes it affordable and some people like, like that on Posh. So for 50 cents, I picked that up. It has no stains, believe it or not, but this is, again, a consignment sale, not a like thrift store. This is a pair of Fabletics leggings, again. They are a size 2X. Um, they do need like some pill shaving, just a little bit of the inner leg. They are in really good condition, and I think the reason that they didn't sell is someone put them in the maternity section because of this big band that is in there, but um, this isn't a maternity um, piece. This is a plus size piece, um, and luckily the tag is still here, so you can indicate that, um, but I thought for 50 cents, again, Fabletics does really well for me on Facebook, usually like 15 to 20 dollars these are a pair of american eagle shorts um they seem like a little faded but then again like that acid wash style is in style but this is the newer label so they've only had the new label um since 2020 manufacturing at the end of 2019 so like this is only two years old at most so I'm gonna wash that with the soap see how it looks and these type of American Eagle like all American Eagle shorts sell so well for me so I sell them individually and not in lots 
Okay, this is where I may have done like some bad purchasing. I don't know. <laughs> I like graphic tees. I mean, as you can tell from my MTV shirt, like I wear graphic tees and tie dye like every day of my life. But anyway, this is a friend's graphic tee. This one actually isn't like faded hardly at all. Um, it's a size medium. It's just from Old Navy, but friends has a following and I've had like some luck selling some basic graphic tees with friends on it. So therefore, I got it. This is a band tee. You guys know through this haul, I love getting band tees. They do well for me always. So this is a Sam Hunt graphic tee. Um, this is for the 15... 15 and 30 tour um, because he's like the youngest person in this group that went together. Um, but it says all the show dates and I got that. And this um, is a top. This is a like boutique-ish brand. Um, I believe that they have done a one collab with Anthropology, but it's Corey. Um, made in America. Um, it's Cory with a K, K O R I. And it's just like this kind of peasant styled dolman sleeve top. Um, this kind of looks like a weird gray color. It's actually a mauve color. It's like a mauvey gray. Anyway, this is gray right here. But, and then this mustard color. I actually thought it was going to be another Matilda Jane shirt. But um, it was Corey. I went ahead and picked it up because it's in good shape. And this is another item that if I can't sell it, the consignment store will really buy it right away. Um, Y'all are going to be shaking your head. But if you want to see my daughter's stuff that I took out of this haul because we're not selling it, um, you'd probably be shaking your head more. But y'all know we're Harry Potter fam. I don't know if I'm going to keep this yet, if I'm going to sell it, if I'm going to give it away. Um, my family loves Harry Potter, like my sister-in-law, my best friend, like we all, we all love Harry Potter. But anyway, muggle shirt, it is my size. I couldn't leave it there. I couldn't let it get taken to an awful family and they don't appreciate it. Okay, so I guess my cabinets are moving on their own now because something just fell out of my kitchen cabinet. Anyway, <laughs> back to my haul. Um, this is a DKNY shoe. Um, these shoes are really weird though because they're made out of like a sweater material. And then covering the holes on the inside of the foot is actually like weird flaps of fabric. So I could see why a person wouldn't want these, but they bought them from TJ Maxx. Um, the stickers and stuff are still inside, but they're like brand new. So I felt like I had to get them for 50 cents, right? I mean, they're, and then they say the DKNY. DKNY does not sell well. Um, I did have a lot of it from a palette that I've literally bought like two years ago that I'm still selling here and there. And somehow it ended up in one of my top selling brand videos, but I wouldn't pick it up unless you can get a like dirt cheap. Every once in a while, there's still a person. And these again, I knew would sell directly to a consignment store. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, so that's it for this three part haul and super weird stuff put together. I know, but I did go thrifting on my birthday. Um, I did not go as crazy as last year where I filled up the whole truck. But anyway, um, I went thrifting and therefore, I, I don't know. I didn't keep the stuff together, so I probably will not be doing a haul of that. I might try to. Um, and also, at this pop-up sale, you guys, I bought my first Ikea bag. Believe it or not, I don't own any Ikea bags. I use the ones from TJ Maxx that are like a dollar. 
But the reason that I purchased this is because they sell them at the sale and they sell them lower than Ikea sells them for. They only charge $1.99. So I went ahead and picked one up. I probably should have picked two up. But that is the end of this haul. And you guys can tell me what you think if you think that these pop-up consignment sales are worth it. Um, if you do them to trade up on your kids' clothes, which is what the majority of these people do, if you use these for your reselling benefit, or if you just like to shop at them, because there's definitely some deals to be had. Um, like I said, we also live far from the mall, so these types of sales do really well. But that's all for today's haul, and I'll see you in the next one.